Hello grade 8 students and welcome to a new video lesson. Today it's module 8e write part 2. Go to your students book page 107 and your workbook pages 116 till 118. First let's have a look at today's objectives. By the end of this lesson students will be able to 1. Plan for writing a description of a process. 2. Write a description of a process following a proper outline. Let's start with the starter. Remember, writing a plan about the description of a process. The first thing is the heading. Create a heading using how or a gerund. When we use how, we can write how to make a cake, how to cook rice, how to start a project, or we can use the gerund, making a cake, cooking rice, or starting a project. How to cook fish and chips, how to repair a scratched CD, or cooking fish and chips, or repairing a scratched CD. The second part of the plan is the description of the process. When we write, no introduction is necessary. Make sure to describe the steps in the correct order. Use linking words and phrases to make each step and the process clear to the reader. In your sentences, use comments like open the box, or you can use the present simple in the second person, like you open the box. Add any extra details that will help the person carry out the process successfully. Don't use short forms. Keep the language clear and simple to help the reader understand easily what they are meant to do. And finally, no conclusion is necessary. Remember, exercise C, rewrite the sentences below using no more than five words. We need to write short sentences. So, number one, the next thing you need to do is to remove the plastic cover. We can make this sentence shorter. How? Like this. And instead of saying the next thing you need to do, we can say next, remove the plastic cover. Number two, the final thing you should do is try to grab the ball as quickly as you possibly can. So we can make the sentence shorter, like this. Remove this part and use just one word. Also, you can use another word for this part. And it goes like this. Finally, grab the ball quickly. Number three. The first thing you have to do is wash your hands. So, and instead of saying, the first thing you have to do, we can just write one word. Very good. First, wash your hands. Now, open your workbook, page 116. B. Rewrite the sentences below using the number of words given in brackets or less. 1. Also, you must remember to put it out before you go to sleep. Use just 9 words to rewrite this sentence. How can you do this? Good job! We can remove this part. So we can say, also, put it out before you go or before going to sleep. 
two. The first thing you have to do is find an open space. Use just five words. So, very good. We can remove this part and say, excellent, first find an open space. Three, then it's important to pay attention to the direction of the wind. Use just nine words. Good job. We can say, then pay attention to the direction of the wind. Four, the next thing you must do is to remove rocks and sticks from the area. Eight words. Good job. We can just say, next, remove rocks and sticks from the area. Now go to exercise C. Complete the description below using the sentences you wrote in the previous activity. Then complete the boxes with the words provided. Here we have a description and this is our previous activity to the right. We have a list of four words that because up F. The heading is choosing a place to come. So which sentence can we start with? Very good. First, find an open space. Now complete. Make sure you can camp there. What word can we use here? Very good. Because camping isn't allowed in all spaces. So, again, which sentence can we use here? Very good. Next, remove rocks and sticks from the area. And after that, which sentence can we use in number four? Good job. Then pay attention to the direction of the wind. Number five, sit. Now we need a word from the list. Excellent. Set up the tent or shelter. So again, we need another word from the list. So very good. So that so that its door isn't facing the blowing wind. This way, your tent or shelter will not fill up with air. Last, and of course, we will use the last word in the last. If you make a fire, it shouldn't be too close to your shelter. And finally, good job. Also, put it out before you go or before going to sleep. Good guys. Now go back to the students book page 107. D. Write a description of the process of how to treat a minor bird. Use your notes from the speaking activity and follow the plan in activity B. Go to your workbook page 117. Now let's get back to students book pages 115, 116. And here we can see how to treat a minor bird. How many steps do we have here? Very good, six steps. So we need to change these into sentences to write our description. Step one, put burn under cool water. Keep for 5 to 15 minutes. Step 2. Wash with soap. Step 3. Place cool, clean cloth. Step 4. Change cloth. Every 5, 15 minutes. 5. Put antiseptic cream. 6. Wrap clean bandage. Now again, go to your workbook page 117. Complete the writing plan below and write your description on the next page. 
writing plan, a description of a process. The first thing you do is to brainstorm ideas for the process. Burn. Heading. Create a heading using how or a gerund. So, it should be like this. How to treat a minor burn or, very good, treating a minor burn. And now, stages of the process. Put, burn, under, cool water, keep for 5 to 15 minutes. Step 2. Wash with soap. 3. Place cool, clean cloth. 4. Change cloth every 5 to 15 minutes. 5. Put antiseptic cream. Finally, wrap clean bandage. Now take your time to write your own description of this process and then check answers with the teacher. Go to your workbook page 118 and write your description here. Here we have a suggested answer for you. How to treat a minor burn. First, Put the burn under cold water and keep it there for 5 to 15 minutes. Then, wash the burn carefully with soap. When the burn is clean, place a cool clean cloth on it. Keep the cloth there for 5 to 15 minutes. Next, remove the cloth and place another cool clean cloth for the same amount of time. After doing this a few times, put antiseptic cream on the burn. Finally, rub a clean bandage around the burn. After you have written your own description of the process, you can use the following checklist to help you improve your writing. Check the features below in your writing and check each box when you are sure about it. Like, have you used capital letters, the right spelling, the right word order, the right grammar, the right vocabulary, and have you written a heading, or have you used any conjunctions, linking words, and so on. Make sure you have written everything well. Thank you, my dear students, for being with us. Thank you for watching, and... Have a good day.